And I remember he would come and share with me how his grandfather was reading Dostoevsky to him. So tell us about that. Well, I think that's really, that was a beautiful experience for me, but I think it's also, I re- I see this again in in the novel, actually, because Alyosha meets the schoolboys, right? Yes. And so it's this idea that the school is sort of a microcosm of the world. Yes. So you see this fighting in the school. The schoolboys are throwing rocks at each other. Yes. And um, yet in the school, they're also passing on. Um, clearly, there's a lot of quotation of scripture in this book. They're passing on the scripture and they're also passing on classical civilization, right? Yes. And this is um, in the one of the questions the boys ask is what is, who founded Troy? And actually, as a, uh, the school teacher doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> and he just says sort of a general group of people and they mention that in the novel. But the, the really cool thing about this is that um, the, the sort of the struggles between the boys and one of the boys dying is sort of a reflection of the struggles in the adults, yes. right? But at the same time, there's sort of this lightheartedness and this joy that the boys bring to the education, the students, not obviously not just boys, but boys and girls and all of the students we see. And we also see that in our classes, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. And, and it's, it's interesting that it's present here in the novel and it actually ends the novel, not to give the ending away. That's true, you're so, right. I, I like your idea of the classroom as a microcosm of so, the world. I think Dostoevsky would be pleased with that. And it's interesting when you, when I was your teacher and you would come and